Hey there, Yogi. Welcome to today's practice, Groovy Gratitude. I'm Chelsea. This is Luna. And we're very excited about this practice. So it's November, which means people are talking about gratitude. There's things to be thankful for. And so I wanted to do a practice themed around that. Gratitude is an awesome tool to practice. It's great to bring you back to present. It's a good way to stop spinning your wheels. I've been working with this a lot lately. I've had some frazzled moments lately and I will stop and be like, okay, what can I be grateful for right now? I have so much to be grateful for. So trying to hone that in and come back to that, speaking from my heart space. I'm very grateful Luna is still on the video right now. But gratitude is a really good thing to practice, A, for yourself and then B, to those around you. And yoga is a wonderful way to tap into that grateful practice. So we talked about that in the video. Grab your mat, comfy clothes as usual. I didn't cue any props, but if you want to grab your bolster or your block, you know you, you, you know what you need. So get what you need to get. Get comfy, get settled. It is uh, winter 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 out here it's uh there's so much snow i don't even i don't even know what to say about it except for winter is here it looks like winter fell from game of thrones outside so here we are grateful for the moisture and that's all i have to say about that but anyway i will see you on the mat thank you for being here Hey Groovy Human, welcome to today's practice, Groovy Gratitude, I clearly like that word. I mean, Luna's, Luna's already soaking up all the, the good mellow vibes. I'm going to have you start in corpse pose, so she, you can lay down if you want to slide a bolster into your legs. You're going to be here for a little bit, not super long, but go ahead and get comfy how you need to. Luna's going to go back to bed, as she does. Take these first few moments to settle in with your breath. Notice how you're feeling physically, emotionally, and cognitively. These are three things that it's really good to track, like how your physical body feels and then what your emotions are up to. Sometimes this happens to me, I'll be like, why am I so anxious? And then once I kind of feel into that, I can solve the problem and help myself feel better. And then cognitively, what's going on up here? It's good to map that out as well so that you can understand why you feel the way you do sometimes. And now bringing to mind something that you're grateful for. It's November, it's Thanksgiving month, so gratitude talk is all around. But gratitude is extremely powerful. It's something that will pull you back into the present when you're spinning your wheels or you're just having a hard day. So bring one thing to mind that you're grateful for. It can be anything. We're gonna keep this, this first part broad. Maybe it's your yoga practice. Maybe it's a pet, a loved one. Maybe it's your favorite yogurt or <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you have a favorite food. I have certain weird little healthy snacks that I like really look forward to during my day. So maybe there's something like that in your world. But take a moment to really hone in on that thing you're grateful for. Hold it in light. Really be present with that thought. Continue to be with your belly breaths. And so as you move through your practice today, thinking of things that you're grateful for, and I'll cue some of those things as we move along. We'll be doing a lot of heart openers. Gratitude comes from the heart. It's very authentic. It's very real. So it's a really good practice for you to have. Take two more breaths in your corpse pose. Deep, long breaths. Full of mindfulness. As you inhale, bring the knees into the chest. Flex your feet. You're giving yourself a mini hug right here. So take a moment to be grateful for you, for what your body does for you. And as you move through practice, focus on the things your body can do versus the things your body can't do. 
if you're like me, I tend to hone in on the negative. So things that are not working in my body, I focus in on those. But ideally, all the time, more things are working than not working. See if you can focus on the things that are working for you when you hit your mat versus the things that aren't going so well in your body. As you inhale, lift head and shoulders up off the mat, curl into a tight little ball, kidney rinse pose. You can feel the pressure in your mid back where your kidneys are pushing into earth. Take this pose to give yourself a big hug. Wrap your arms around your knees. Smooch, smooch if you want. And be grateful for this body you're in and the soul that you are, the beautiful soul that you are. Two more breaths here. Release down into reclining butterfly. Soles of the feet come together. Knees are gonna drop towards the floor. Allow gravity to pull. It's freezing here today, so my heater kicked on. <laughs> you can probably hear it. We have, I don't even know how much snow we have. I, I don't even, I don't even wanna think about it. It's just like a snow globe out there. Anyway, sidebar. In your reclining butterfly, push the soles of your feet together. Take your awareness there to see what's connecting your heels, maybe part of your arches, depending on how your feet are shaped, balls of your feet, and your toes. Let them tickle one another and come together. Gratitude keeps us in the present moment. It's a good way to get out of tricky thought patterns. This happened to me the other day. I was upset about like some dishes that my husband didn't do. It was it wasn't even a big deal. Like I clearly didn't need to feel that way, but I did. And so to come out of it, I started practicing gratitude. And I was like, okay, be grateful that you have dishes. Be grateful that you have a husband that you love so dearly, and he's an amazing person. And it did make me feel better. It doesn't always make me feel better, but if you get into those processes in your mind where you're like constantly spinning. Stop it. See if you can put that gratitude stick in the wheel to stop the spinning. It doesn't always work, but it's a good tool to try. One more breath here. Bring your knees back into your chest. Wiggle side to side. Give those back muscles a massage. If you're in the Northern Hills area, within these next few days, you're gonna need all the yoga you can get from all the shoveling that we're about to have to do. Come back to center. You can start to rock and roll back and forth, giving the spine some love. And working back into your shoulder blades, your, your shoveling shoulder blades. And now make your way up to a comfortable seated position. You can close your eyes and place your hands in your lap, or you can bring one hand, your left hand, over your heart space and your right hand over your belly. We're going to do a few rounds of a breathing meditation exercise. When you breathe in, think to yourself, I inhale blessings. As you breathe out, think to yourself, I exhale limitations. I inhale blessings, I exhale limitations. Keep thinking this in your mind. You can say it out loud too if you want to. I breathe in blessings, I breathe out limitations. Take two more rounds of breath this way. Allow your eyes to flutter open. Slowly move the tabletop. We'll get some motion going with cat cows. Breathe in, drop the belly. Gaze comes in front of you. Breathe out. Tuck the belly to the spine. Push the back up towards the ceiling. 
push the ground away with your hands. You know the drill. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. You can stay in your, your original cat cows if you want to mix things up today. As you inhale in the cow, tuck your toes, push back into your toes and the balls of your feet. And as you exhale, untuck your toes, lift the spine and push into the mat with the shoelace sides of your feet to see how that feels. Very intentional motion, go slow. And take these postures to express gratitude for your practice. Maybe you have a certain posture you absolutely love, so you can hold some gratitude for that. Maybe you just got a pair of new yoga pants or something, I don't know, and you're excited about those, but hone in on some gratitude around your yoga, whatever that looks like for you. Take one more round. Come back to neutral in your tabletop, step back to high plank, and move to your down dog. Oh, shovel muscles are already sore. I shoveled before I started the, our class today. Hoping to get it out of the way, but it's still snowing, so no dice. You pedal your heels, stretch your calves, spread your fingers. Let gravity pull your head down towards earth, release your neck, all that good stuff. Two more breaths here. Next in breath, you're going to baby step your feet to your hands. Take your time to get there for this first forward fold. Breathe in, half lift, hands come up to the shins. Back is neutral, bend from the hips, exhale, drop full, let your head hang here, inhale, rise, extended mountain. Take your arms wide, exhale, drop to full, lead with your heart, spread everything out in the arms. Half lift, forward fold, rise to extended mountain. And you're gonna hold extended mountain, drop your shoulders away from your ears. But reach your fingers, spread your hands open, and push back into earth with the soles of your feet. Notice the power in this stance. How strong you are, how sturdy your body is here. Be grateful for where you are in this moment in time. I know it's probably taken a lot for you to get where you are. We all have our own stories. But make sure you're the hero in your story and that you hold yourself up and support yourself because you deserve it. Deep breath in. Exhale, drop, fold. Half lift. Take your fold. Hopper, step back to high plank. And move back to your down dog. 